Good morning. It's Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Ah, it's New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Very cold outside, cold and windy. So I tried to make a, vi a video and it was like. <laughs> so, I'm down here in the subway, down on the ground. It's a little warm, at least it's not windy. It's 10 degrees. So. Everybody's sleeping because it's New Year's. So anyway, a little proof of life today. <clears throat> Good acoustics down here in the subway. Oh, oh. Still see your breath. So, uh, so we're waiting. Now it's uh, it's January first. Still alive. We made it. Oh, we made it. Oh, they thought we were gonna go away, but we're still here. Whoa, we're still here. Waiting for the big appeal, right? And, uh, time, time, time to your advantage. Time works to your advantage. How are you, sir? It's cold outside, making a video down here. I say hello to the police. Yeah. Gotta be nice to the police. So anyway, so, uh, it's a good, it's a good day. Um, we made a lot of progress, you know, 2018, right? It's pretty good, right? Still, uh, still in the game, and I, I was, still, you know, wondering like, could this be done by, you know, any old person? Can this, can this actually be done by the public, where you, you know, can expose, uh, you know, massive corruption, and then, and you know, and uh, and let people know about it and change it, you know, like corporate counsel right now. This is, you know, the city's not giving, right? What is the city doing? Instead of, instead of admitting a wrong, saying, oh, you know, oh, look, our agency had some corruption and, uh, there was a ticket quota and, uh, uh, dear public, uh, we're sorry. No, that's not what they do. What they do is they fight and they try to exhaust you and break you, right? Time. Use up all your time. Use up all your resources, right? That's what they try to do. So it's a re you know, take it right to the last minute so that you have less time to answer to their frivolous nonsense, right? Maybe you'll go away. Maybe you'll die. Maybe something will happen to you. Maybe you'll quit, right? But to the time, the idea that time is, uh, time is to their advantage is actually incorrect because look at the time bought us. Time bought us uh, all those, uh, you know, new recordings. We've got audio that proves that Burke was in fact knowledgeable of the quota. He admits it in the recording. We have that, that um, uh, Lieutenant Kerr bashing that, that uh, agent. Do your job, do your job. Your job is what? To write tickets, quota, right? Punitive, punitive measures to force people to break the law. Not people, but employees, people being paid. That's not what they sign up for, but that's what they get. Uh, so we proved all these things because corporate counsel thinks that time works to their advantage, but it actually works to our advantage. Now, can we get a court to swing in our, you know, swing to our liking? I don't know. We couldn't couldn't before, but now what do we have? Now we have Senator Marty Golden. Golden, a New York senator, goes on the record and says, "Pow, there is a quota. Pow, it's likely that retaliation occurred because because of a whistleblower. Because this guy blew the whistle, it's likely that there's retaliation. That's powerful. A New York senator. He's above the city." City councilman, right? He's above the city councilman. And what are the city councilmen? They're informed too. The, the, the committee, the oversight committee, the oversight committee, the city council is now aware and informed. Right? So that's all, that's all because of time. Now they'll respond to their bullshit and then they'll respond with bullshit. And then we're going to drop another bomb on top of them. So, 
Again, February arguments. Right now we're we're in uh, we're waiting on January third. It's today is January first. It's New Year's Day. Is it quiet? I don't know. All is quiet. I don't know. I don't know. But it's all it's all good. And um, I guess finally what I wanted to see. Whoa! Well, I almost oops. Almost dropped the phone. Almost dropped the tool. Almost dropped my tool. What I wanted to say is that, is this really possible for anyone to come along and, and, and fight a city organization like this single-handedly and with the crowd and with the informants inside of DSNY is this, or inside of any agency? Is this even possible? Could someone have done this? Can any person... I mean, I don't want to misrepresent this and say, oh, it's, it's easy, anybody can do this. But um, what I will say is that, you know, in, in the infamous words of Donald Trump running against Hillary Clinton, when they said, wouldn't you just be happy to have run and made all of us aware of uh, uh, problems inside of government? He said, no, no. It's about winning. We have to win. If we don't win, then it's a bust because you know, we're like, we're like, you know, sand on the beach. It just gets washed away and nobody remembers, you know. Nobody remembers. Nobody will remember this unless we win, right? And, you know, and it's likely if we don't win, then I, I'm not able to sustain it because having been cut off from the resource. Again, this is about restitution for harm done. Money, right? Without money, without restitution for harm done, those are resources that I can continue to do this, right? So winning is important because if I win, then this continues, this series continues and improves and, and, and magnifies, understand? So winning is, winning is very important. It's not just about showing up and saying, oh, looky, looky. No, it's about you have to win. So enjoy your day. And uh, next stop is uh, January 3rd. The city could still try to delay, delay. That, you know, who, who knows what they can do. They, they have all the power and all the, all the, all the lawyers and the, the whole system is in, in their favor. So if they want to delay it, they're going to do it. Uh, we're going to fight back and we're going to, uh, we're going to answer in the proper amount of time, right? And we're going to exploit all of that. We're going to exploit their answer. You're going to read my answer. And we're going to keep going. We're going to keep talking about it. We're keep talking about it. We're going to lead up to a press conference. In February, if we have oral arguments, we'll do a press conference right on the steps. We'll invite everybody. We'll invite uh, Jason from Crowdsource the Truth Community. Come over and, and uh, stream it live. So have a great day.